Hi friends, my name is Lisa Schmid and welcome to New in the Studio. I'm excited to be with you this Monday um, here in Minnesota. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and um, it's a busy time of year uh, as a teacher, but also as a demonstrator, it's kind of a busy time of year because the everyday catalog from last year is phasing out. That would be this one is sort of phasing out. It'll be done. Whoa! it'll be done on May 1st. And then um, this new one, yours won't say Dave, this new one um, starts May 2nd. Mine. No, you can't have his. But it makes it just uh, as we're, I'm trying to show you different things. I want to show you new things at the same time, things that aren't retired or like gone. So anyway, it, it's a busy time. It's a turnover time. So, but it's exciting because there's lots of fun things to show you. Um, tonight, I am going to focus on fresh as a daisy designer series paper. So first off, let me say, if you do not have this catalog, please let us know. You should have gotten it by now. And so if you don't have it, let us know. And we'll get one in the mail to you. All right, fresh as a daisy. So the stamp set is called Cheerful Daisies. Um, but what I'm really going to show you and focus on is this designer series paper. So the designer series paper. Hi, Kay. Hey, Patty. Hi, friends. How fun is this? So obviously these are back the two sides of it, but and, but the colors are just so vibrant. Hey, and Diane. then how fun are these colors? So these each side has a really fun printed one and then the solid in the back. And of course, if you notice one, two, three, four, five, there's one missing, which I'll show you. But first I want to show you these super fun colors. So there's boho blue. That's a new color. I literally just made this, so I don't have it labeled yet, but boho blue, garden green, uh, peacock, pretty peacock. Yep. Pretty peacock. And it should be loud peacock. <laughs> Peacocks are really loud. Uh, pretty peacock. This is so saffron, which is not a new color. Um, Cajun craze, uh, blue azure, azure afternoon. I'm like, hmm. Azure Afternoon. This one is Pebble Path, Lemon Lally, my favorite to say. Lemon Lally, Bubble Bath, Moody Mauve, and this last one is Wild Wheat. So all these fun colors. And I thought, oh, it'd be kind of fun to die cut out the daisy and do that as my in colors. Now the piece that's missing here, not in colors, do that as the colors that match. And if you don't know, with the, with the 12 by 12 designer series paper, there's always a list of the word of the colors right here. Can so you lift that up? I sure can. So all the colors are right there. And so that is, I look at those and I die cut out those daisies just to show you what would coordinate well. Now, the last designer series paper in the pack is this one. So one side is Moody Mauve, but this side has lots and lots of fun things. And when I first saw it, I thought, well, how do you cut it? Because I'm looking here, well, that stops there. But it actually works out really well because if you cut here, I grabbed the wrong bin. This isn't the right bin. Can you grab me the right one? Thank, oh, I do need this though. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm like, that's not the right one. Um, this, if you, you cut here first, right there. So now with that gone, if that's gone, now you can cut this, kind of like a puzzle. Now, when that's gone, then you can cut this. So there's always one that you can cut as you're working it through. So I'm going to make or a couple. Or you can just use the whole thing as a big scrapbook page. Sure, that would be fun too. So I'm going to make a couple cards using this. I cut one up, and so I'm going to use that. I'm going to start with the bubble bath. Um, look how fun. I I love this. I think this is, well, lemon lolly is pretty, pretty close second. So our first bubble bath's a close second. So this is the piece that came with it. This is that piece up in the corner there. So I'm going to go ahead and use garden green, which <coughs> bless you. Stampin' Up! tells us that's what goes with it. So I'm going with what they say. Garden green right there. Pretty. Yeah. Doesn't that, it just makes it pop a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and stick my basic white inside first before I get too far and like that. And I honestly did not even measure this. Here's what I did. I cut it and I can measure it. Sometimes people like to know exactly how much I cut off. I cut off an inch and a half. What I did is I kind of looked at, okay, how, 
can this kind of be centered? It doesn't have to be centered. It could be over to one side, but I kind of wanted it like that. So when you open it up, you've got that little flap. So let's, uh, nope, I don't want to put that on yet because I want to put on, I don't know. Yes, I did. I want to put on a ribbon and I believe that this ribbon, it comes in a pack with red and I, I'm pretty sure it's going in the new catalog. I just don't remember, but let's go ahead and, I don't know. That's what I said. That's what I mean. Like it kind of gets tricky. Is there a label on it? Um, it's one of two. <laughs> no, I don't have, oh my goodness. Don't have the label on it. And clearly it's, there you go, not meant to be opened. That's the real red and garden green yes. three eighths ribbon combo pack. Correct. Thank you. So we could, I think I'm just going to put, not sure. I think I'm just going to tie a little knot because somewhere I'm going to want to put some words, of course, right? So let's just tie a little square knot and grab my scissors. Kay says it was a good tip on cutting that paper. On the, on the. DSP. Yeah, isn't that great? And you just make so many cards very quickly and very simply. So this could just go right here. And I don't even really need words on the front. Don't pass out, nope. Dave. I, <laughs> I always put words on. I'm like, oh, wait, but it needs words. And he's like, not always. So let's go ahead and just get in the center of our screen there. And I don't mind the pink showing. I don't want the white to show on this edge. So I'm just going to stick that on. Grab a little glue dot and we'll go ahead and stick on this garden green little piece of ribbon just right there where they're kind of all together. Now, cute, right? Isn't that cute, fun? Yeah. I think cute, yeah. So um, I think we're good with that one. I'm not even going to add anything else. Wow, I kind of went low on that. I'm just going to move it. No, oh, it's good. No, I want to move it up. I want it centered. Dave's like, it's good. It's good. I want it right there. I was lo looking so much at this side. I didn't look up and down. So there we go. Um, the other thing that would make this just a little step up is to put a 3D embossed piece behind here, either in the bubble bath or perhaps in the so saffron or white, but I just to give it a little texture, you certainly could do that. But how fun is that? Let's go ahead and stamp something inside. Um, I happen to only be able to find at the moment my little stamp and spot, which comes in my paper pumpkin. <laughs> of what color? Garden green. I have garden green, of course, but let's go ahead and just, like I said, it's a little bit, um, a little bit of a challenge right now. Let's grab these scissors and see if we can get that open. I like to open just one side because then it keeps the lid right with it. So there we go. That should work. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to use some words from this Daisy stamp set. I think I'm going to use this one. Your friendship means everything. I just think that's sweet. Um, I had a coworker come help me today and that would be a good, good card for her. Your friendship means everything. So I'm just going to grab a little block or a big block. Grab a block there. It is photopolymer. So I'm going to also grab my mat that has something, some, we'll just flip that over. There we go. All right. And we're going to stamp that inside. Now you probably do want to stamp on the card stock before you stick it on, but that's all right. I, I'm, we're good. We are absolutely good. There we go. Just hold it. All right. So I would flip it over like this. Yep. Yes, me too. And I'm like, I got to get that cap off. I can't hold it. There we go. I do like to leave that cap kind of on like that. But all right, your friendship means everything. I'm just going to stamp that in the middle there. And done, done, done. Nice. Yeah, I, I'm telling you, this DSP really makes some cute cars. I have two more to show you, but there's one. Okay, do you want me to make the next one? Let's keep going. All right. So the next one... I'm going to make is using pecan pie. <laughs> I forget what uh, movie that's from. Pecan pie. When Harry met Sally. Oh, yes. So anyway, this is another one of the pieces and it is right here. So it's just, I love when things are kind of simple to use. So I'm just going to stick that on. This, um, I cut this down a little bit because I thought that needs a little bit of a border to pop up a little bit. So I cut that down a little bit so that it would, I could just put a tiny, 
a little thin white border behind it. And this one, I got a folder card stack. Getting ahead of myself with my pecan pie. So that's going to go there. But this one, I actually have um, wild wheat, which is this color in the background. I have wild, wild wheat ribbon. Say that three times fast. So I'm just deciding. Rascally wabbits have wild wheat <laughs> ribbon. Yeah, I think I'm going to put it across the bottom and then put a little sentiment here on this one. I'm going to do that. So let's go ahead and stick it. I don't need to go all the way around, but there's that wild wheat. Yeah. I, I always think like, oh, this would be such a fun time to work at Stampin' Up, but really they probably designed this a year or two ago. So <laughs> who knows? Yeah. In the summer sometime they were. Yeah. Well, yeah, they just do it pretty far ahead. Anyway, so this is, I just think that this is sort of a calm color. It's not so bright and crazy like some of the colors I like but I'll scoop that up a little bit and then i'm just going to tie a little something knot. yep a little knot right here a bow would be too much did you say you were going to put some words there i did say that but i kind of like the knot sounds good yeah so again i think i'm going to end up putting the words inside and i like the knot off to one side <laughs> Kay said i did well with the tongue <laughs> twister i'm going to pull that here's what i like about when you tie it on after. I'm like, no, I want it more this way. And you kind of can scooch it over. Or you're like, no, 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 I want it on the other side. And you can scooch it that way. So kind of one thing I like about using, but now that I pulled it, I'm going to trim it again, using um, that little knot technique. Now, I want to add a little bit of bling on this. I mean, come on now. So this is um, adhesive back solid, solid gems. There's that color, pecan pie. Um, and we've got boho blue and the lolly lemon, lemon, lemon lolly. lolly. <laughs> as soon as I said it, I was like, that's not right. Um, so I think I'm going to put some of these pecan pie. I could stick one on every one there. That's kind of too much. Let's just, I'm going to just add some pecan pie, three sizes. I like that. Just a little bling bling, a little one, maybe up here, just a little bit. And then we can go ahead and stamp something inside that one. Um, so you made my day. Oops, a daisy. So sorry. Wishing you the brightest birthday. What do you think, Dave? I think oops, a daisy. I know. I kind of thought that too with all the daisies. I'm going to go ahead and use early espresso because that is one of our colors right here. And I know that because I look at I looked at the back of the paper, right? Uh, oops, a daisy. So sorry. So when we need to apologize, at least we can make it pretty, right? <laughs> Oops, a daisy. That's cute. Oops, a daisy. Oh, I guess I should have a piece of paper to put inside first. Hmm? That helps. That, that does help. Here we go. All right. So this time I will stamp on it first. And then if you make an error, you can always flip it, which is really handy. I did save my favorite for last. So, Oops, a daisy. So... Sorry. Love it. All right. That, so there's our second super simple card using our designer series paper called Fresh as, da fresh as a Daisy, which I went to the gym today and I just took a shower. So I do feel fresh as a daisy. There we go. Cute. Two cute cards. All right. You're up, sweetie. All right. So one of the things we have coming up is Card Cafe. Um, Card Cafe is our in-person event, happens here at our studio in Minnetonka. Um, it is $25. You can come and you get to make 10 cards. You choose five of the designs, you make 10 cards, two of each of the five designs, and you have a great time. We have a very fun group who yeah, is we do. kind of our core group of um, Card Cafe. They're all coming this time. They're all coming and a couple extras. So yes, very know. fun, chance to meet some fun people, yep. stamp some beautiful cards we will be using items from the new catalog. Yes. So it is your first chance to touch and feel and get those um, and be able to see them in person. Um, you also, if you place an order that morning, which of course, with all the new products, there Why are things you, that you right? need to order, yeah. you will get a $5 credit towards your $30 order. So Card Cafe coming up Saturday, May 6th from 10 to noon here in the Stamper Studio, Minnetonka. That is coming up. 
So it's not this Saturday. weekend, but the next weekend. Yeah, yep. it's coming up. All right. So the last card that I'm going to show you is using this one right in the middle. Look at that. So these three, but also I think these could be a really cool background. Mm -hmm. This one, I'm like, hmm, what would you put there? Something I was thinking of the adventure, the bike, the bike or yeah. I'm not sure, but it seems like something could go here. I haven't decided yet, but, and then you've got these cute little ones also. So let's go ahead. And this one is using primarily the, where's my blue? I just, I lose my blue. Ink pad? No, the actual card. Can oh. you get me a piece of boho blue? I'll go ahead and stick this on while Dave's doing that. Boho Blue. That's kind of a fun name to say too. Boho Blue. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I hope you can come to Card Club or Card Cafe. There's lots of fun. There will be lots of fun cards to make. Okay, Boho. Now this one, I am going to use this also, this fun ribbon, which is also in Boho. And this time I'm just going to go straight across and I'm going to put a sentiment here. So let's go ahead and adhere. Oh, all of a sudden I had a second thought. No, I think I like it this way. Okay. <laughs> go, go with your first instinct, right? Go with what you think. We play a lot of cribbage and we always say, go with what you know. How's your Monday going? Is it starting out okay? School is a little bit zooey with students because it's, the weather's getting nicer and that's just the way it is. Are you having a hard time finding it? Okay. Pretty sure I cut it. I just didn't. Anyway, I can cut it over here too. All right. And then I did bring over, I'm just going to use the double oval punch because I thought, well, that's kind of fun just to go ahead and stamp a word. Uh, nope. That's afternoon. Is no, it? That's it. Is that boho blue? It yes, is. it is. Sorry, love. Dave's like, dare you, you cut you're questioning me? It's boho. Yeah, boho blue. So let's go ahead and cut one five and a half. There we are. Hey, Barb. Perfect. All right. Hey, Barb. I know, isn't it so fun? I usually score my cards, and this one obviously I did not, but we can make it do what we want it to do. So just like that. Isn't that pretty? I love the blue and um, let's think of what that color was. That is that pecan? Maybe. Yes, it looks like pecan. It does look like pecan. So many new names, so that, many new colors. That sounds chilly, Patty, being at a baseball game today. Oh, burr. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and center that there. And then let's go ahead and grab a little piece of white paper. And I think I'm just going to. Um, ba -ba -ba. I think I will go ahead and stamp the scallop out of that because I'm gonna I love the double oval punch it is like the simplest thing to use <laughs> and so now we want to make sure that our words are going to fit let me show you a trick so you know these are the words I have so I'm going to punch this right here that's our template so let's see wishing you too big oops a daisy that works or your friendship means anything I'm going to use this one you made my day too small. Barb says May 2nd can't come soon enough to place her order. Oh, yay. Love it. We just used this one. So here it is. Boho blue. I'm interested to see what's on your wish list. So let's go ahead. Remember, you always stamp first and then punch so you can center it. So I'm going to stamp that. It's the bottom. I guess it doesn't matter. I'm like, it's the bottom one. There we go. Boho. Yep. It is. <laughs> I know. Just checking. And we'll go ahead and punch that out. And there we go. All right. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to pop this up. And not with that. With my dimensionals. Diane loves the double, double oval punch. I, it's also. so handy. And whether you make it double or not, it's just, it's very, very handy. So let's get those off and put that right there. Oh, I smudged it. All right. Juicy new pad. 